Hey everybody, Syntax77 here. I just want to do a quick video today. Actually, it's kind of a time sensitive video. You see, I just got today the final components to a brand new piece of hammock gear, a hammock system actually, made by Dutchware called the Chameleon. Now actually, in truth, this final component I got has been in my house since last week, but I was in Ireland. I'm back today, but Obviously, I've not been able to use it until now, which kind of puts me a little behind the eight ball because this particular hammock system that Dutch just came out with and he's launching on Kickstarter today, Monday, the 16th of January, 2017. Dutch actually sent out trial versions of these hammocks, which aren't available yet. He sent them out to a handful of YouTubers and they already got them. I'm assuming their videos will be up. Shug has probably already been tightrope walking while juggling bees using this thing while I was being lazy over in Ireland having a pint or two. So unfortunately, I have not field tested this yet. So my plan is to do this as a two-part video. I could go out today and field test this, but I'm going to get into the details of what this thing does. But one of the key components about this new hammock system that gets me excited the most is the fact that you can do two hammocks on just one set of trees. Now, if you've seen any of the videos with Sarah and I where we go out, we like to hammock camp pretty close to each other, which makes us have to find basically three trees in kind of a tight triangle configuration. And it's a little tricky finding the ideal setup a lot of times. Now, with this hammock system, you can actually purchase it as a single hammock or the dual hammock system. And if you do that, it comes with these here spreader bars. They snap together and now you have one big spreader bar that goes at one end of the hammock to keep them separated so that you're not knocking into each other but you're still nice and close so you can talk and converse and you don't have to go searching for this perfect trifecta of trees. You just pick the same old nice distance apart trees that you would use if you were using a single hammock. Also a benefit to that is even when we were finding trees that worked for us, we still had to use two tarps and kind of this Frankenstein system because your tarp still has to go to one set of trees. You gotta pick which one, it's just a mess. With this system, we can use one tarp over both our hammocks. So that's weight savings and cost savings because I only have one Cuban fiber tarp. I don't really wanna buy two. Now, of course I could go out and test this thing in the field today myself, but the whole point is I wanna set it up and test it with my wife. Now being the upstanding young woman that she is, she's working today and for the next several days. I can't get that out until probably later this week. So today what I wanna do is, A, for those of you out there who aren't completely geeked out on hammocks, I wanna use this video just to give you a heads up because the Kickstarter's live now and they seem to be going fast. So I want you guys to have an opportunity to kind of get an overview like I'm doing now and go check out the full Kickstarter page, which is linked in the description. B, for my friends on hammock forums who are a little more into this, you guys already know that something's been brewing with Dutch and you've just been wondering what exactly it is. So for you guys, later in this very video, we're gonna do a full on up close detailed look at all the components of this system basically gear porn, so that you guys can either make up your mind if you're on the fence because you don't know exactly what the unique aspects of this system are. I'm gonna go over all those components. And then B, if you've already pulled the trigger and you're waiting for yours to come, you got a little something to help you dream about what you're getting. Now, of course, there's more to this than just being a two hammock spreader bar system. If you're interested in just a single hammock system, I would say this is still pretty interesting because the reason it's called the Chameleon is that it's adaptable to a lot of different situations. It's a modular system system. You can change it on the fly for both left or right hand lay. You can use a bug net, you can use no net, or you can use a winter solid top cover with a vent to keep you extra warm and toasty during those winter months. There's also hooks all along the hammock body that you can use to secure your under quilt, as well as add various accessories that Dutch has coming down the pipeline as well. It truly is a customizable system. You can buy a complete kit, which is basically what you're about to see, or you can just buy what you need now. Maybe you don't winter hike and camp, but later on you decide you want to go ahead and buy the solid top cover then and don't buy it now if you don't think you need it we're also going to look specifically at the new suspension system that comes with this called the beetle and that is available on the kickstarter page as well if you just want to have the suspension system so keep that in mind as we go through things on the tabletop review that i'm about to do next so enough of my blabbing and my ugly mug let's get this thing on the table where you can get an up close detailed view in glorious hd bump those video settings up. Let's check this thing out. All right, and there it is on the table. Now, just a reminder, once again, this is a tabletop close-up review of all the components in the Chameleon system. If 
you're not interested in going that deep, feel free to check back once I've posted the field test with my wife and I using it in dual mode. And also I will point out, if you just want to see this thing in action, kind of spread out and set up, check out Shug's video. He posted it today as well, and you can really get a view of the system set up. All right, so first things first, the hammock itself here. Now I will be doing this review from the perspective of the full dual system, which is two separate hammocks along with the spreader bar. So you can use it on just one pair of trees. If you're looking to just get a single hammock, it's very simple. It's just going to be one hammock and no spreader bar. So there's one of the hammocks. We'll take a closer look at that in a minute. You also get this here pouch that has your bug net in it and a second pouch to put your winter cover in, which was in the hammock that we just saw. Dyneema straps. These are the latest and greatest straps from Dutch. They have been on site for separate purchase for a little while now. They are 30% lighter than the nylon straps, but they are just as strong in terms of tensile strength or the load you can put in there. And they also work with all of his suspension systems, whether it be aluminum buckles, titanium buckles, or the new and not available yet until the Kickstarter completes beetles. But I'll show you that in a minute. You can see there that they are already installed on here. And you'll also get two carabiners per hammock. Those will aid with quicker setup of those straps. If you're a weight conscious person, then you could omit these, or you could always use a good old Dutch clip if you already have one. But these here for about 20 grams a piece will get you set up and it just makes for a quicker setup with those straps, which we'll get into. Next up, you got your spreader bars. Dutchware spreader bars comes in two pieces. You just pop them together there like that and that will separate the two hammocks at one end so that you're not bumping into each other when you're set up on a single pair of trees. The pair of poles weighs five and a quarter ounces or 150 grams. Now, of course, you'll be able to set up with a single tarp using this system instead of two, so it almost negates the weight of the poles if you go that route. And that covers all your components. Now, let's switch over to the actual hammock body and start looking at this guy. It comes with this stuff sack. It's double-ended so that you can deploy it and leave it on your line when it's set up. The fabric itself that the hammock is made of is Hexon. You can get this in three different grades. You can get it in 1.0, 1.6, or 2.2. Now the choice is yours as far as which grade of Hexon. I go with 1.0 because it's the lightest and it's safe weight range, covers my body weight just fine. You can go all the way up to 400 pounds if you go with the heavier grade 2.2 fabric. For me, 1.0 is just fine. And that enables me to have the hammock with the winter cover for around 21 ounces. If I do the bug net instead, then I'm around 20 ounces. You'll see a standard continuous loop on the end there, which pairs up with the new Beetle system quick deployment and does not have to be permanently attached to your straps. So if they are wet from the tree, etc., you don't have to pack them all together in your pack. That's nice. Continuing along and pulling it out, you'll see two different colors here. There's my top cover in orange, bottom cover in this blue. Now this top cover here is a different material. It's not Hexon. It is Argon 90. It's a 15D material. It is lightweight, wind resistant, yet breathable. So when you have it over top of you, you can get some of those vapors to disperse without getting too clammy in your hammock, but you'll remain warm. There's also a vent on this to combat the same things. You can choose whatever colors you want for the bottom or the top. Now, right now for the Kickstarter, he has a more limited range of colors. Once this thing launches, assuming that it's successful, and I'm pretty sure it will be, then there will be more color options, I'm assuming. You can see that nice ripstop pattern on the Argon right there. Square ripstop pattern. And the Hexon has a diamond pattern in there. This Hexon, very light and strong resilient, but it's not plasticky feeling. I already have a hammock in this Hexon. I have had it for over a year and it's really comfortable, soft, but strong and resistant to damage. Now, as we pull this out here, we'll see one of the various hooks here for your under quilt. Your under quilt goes on, has a line running along it, shock cord usually, and this will clip right to it to keep your under quilt from moving all willy nilly throughout the night. These are placed along the body of the hammock on both sides. It can really help secure things. There's a look at the zipper as well. You may notice on there that teeth configuration, right? It is not a nylon coil zipper. It is a vision zipper, as Dutch calls it, similar to what would be used on marine products and such. Should be stronger and more resilient from what I've read. We'll get back to that zipper and its function in a moment because it is quite unique and convenient. Up at the top here, we have bug net material at the top of the hammock. This way, when you deploy a bug net system instead of this winter top cover, it will seal up closely against there and you'll have full bug protection. So that's nice. That's permanently sewn in there. 
on the top of the hammock. And now we're back to the other end, another continuous loop. In addition to those underquilt hooks, you'll also find this guy here, which is removable. And it's a side pullout that clips on to one of the D-rings. Remember what I said, you can lay left or right in this thing. And let's talk about that. So if you're pulling out the sides, you want your side pullouts in different areas, depending on that setup. This way you can quickly move it. You place two of these in close proximity, you put a stake through that, you run it to the ground and it'll pull the sides out and it's connected via that grass green loop. Now let's take a look at that vision zipper. Look at these loops on here. As pointed out by Dutch on the Kickstarter site, these are nice large loops designed to be nice and handy for even when you're wearing gloves, etc. So that you can pull these things apart. And if you look inside, there's a pull on the inside as well so that you can access this from the inside or the outside. These zippers slide along, they're fully reversible and they allow you to fully remove this top cover and switch it out for a bug net cover or take it off completely and run netless. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna take this guy completely off. You'll notice as we get up towards the top here, I'm up to that top bug net kind of ceiling area. And if I keep going, eventually the zipper terminates, pops right off. And we're gonna do that on both sides. Down to the other end, same thing. Now these dual pull out zippers are on both sides. So that means left hand and right hand, you can reach out, adjust an under quilt, get in and out of the hammock. It's totally up to you. And since this zipper is reversible, we might as well talk about the fact that you can lay left lay or right lay. And what that means is, do you prefer your head to the right and your feet to the left or your head to the left and your feet to the right? Personal preference, or it could be because you're in that tree setup with your significant other and you want to make sure you're not bumping into each other. Now, usually with a hammock system, it all comes down to the top cover, which has to be cut to match whether or not you like left lay or right lay. With this system and this vision zipper, you can flip over the top cover to match whether or not you want left or right lay anytime you want throughout a trip, depending on your preferences or needs. You're not confined to picking that when you order it and being stuck with it. So now we've removed the top cover and here's a look at the vented portion. Now you don't want to get too clammy in there, right? So the top of this winter cover is mesh to allow you to get a little view of the world outside as well as let some of those vapors out. So now our top cover comes out of the way and we're left with the bottom and a view of the ridge line integrated right into the system. This makes sure you have a nice good lay all the time and gives you something to hang your gear from. So let's move the body out of the way and talk about the fact that you can switch from that winter solid top to a summer bug net. And here it is right here. Open it up, the bug net is in a pouch made out of bug net as well. It's nano, no seam bug netting, very light, very effective against bugs. Same material I've used before on Dutch's hammock socks. Seems to work quite well. So there's a pouch and you'll notice another pouch inside. That's because this one you can use as storage for the winter one we just took off. So bug net right here. It's just a whole panel of that no seal material. It is sewn and set up with the same exact vision zippers and pulls just like the cover we just saw, only it's made out of bug net material. This is gonna save you about an ounce or so, and it allows more breathability on summer trips when you're not concerned about keeping heat inside the hammock, but you do wanna keep the bugs out. This would go on exactly the same way we just saw. It still has the zippers on both sides, which allows you to get in and out, left or right, or reach out during the night and adjust that under quilt. You don't have to worry about which way you're setting these hammocks up. You really have a lot of versatility there. And the bug net itself, just in case you want to know, weighs four ounces or 115 grams. Going on a trip where you'll be lounging or maybe bugs aren't a problem, leave the bug net and the solid top cover at home and you've lightened your load as well as made things simpler. It's just one thing to set up if you're not worried about it, especially if you're doing a day hike, you just want something to throw up really quick. Now your hammock for backpacking is suddenly a lounging hammock for at the park, around the backyard, whatever your heart desires. Next up, let's move on to those Dyneema straps. Now these right here, let's weigh them real quick. Take the rubber band off for accuracy. Strap plus the hardware that we're about to see is five and three quarter ounces or 165 grams. And that's for two 15 foot straps. A decent weight savings over traditional nylon straps and just as strong. Now, if you're familiar with the nylon strap systems, you'll probably be familiar with this as well. It functions very similar. You have a loop at the end there. You would go around your tree and you have two options, old school and lightweight. You can go right through itself like so. Now you're around the tree and secure. 
But if you have branches in the way and you want to readjust, kind of a pain to pull all of that line back out, right? I mean, personal preference, but you may not want to fiddle with that. So for an extra ounce or two, simply take one of the carabiners. These are rated to 1,100 pounds. The Dutch Wear carabiner. Clip it on. Go around the tree and just clip it to itself. Seems simple, but if you've never been out there and had to deal with that before, that's kind of a game changer because now if you want to lift it up in a branch, it's right here. You just unclip, go around it, reclip. Not bad, nice and simple. Like I said, if you already have a Dutch clip, you can use that as well, but this is great because in this system you get everything you need. And these are, for their weight rating, pretty darn light. A close up look at that Dyneema webbing there. Solid weave, good stuff. I actually bought some of these before this system even came out. I bought the straps themselves for my mom for Christmas for a hammock. Nice and light, simple, easy to deal with. But look at this. Now this is not available until now on the Kickstarter. And you can pledge and get these separate as well if you already have a hammock and you just want this system. They're called the Beatles. And look what's going on there. So instead of a buckle system, which would be larger and heavier, it's got these two components. You'll also notice a hole, which I'll get into in a minute. That works with the spreader bar. So with these two parts here, you can quickly and easily adjust your straps. Just hold on right here to that tab. I can tighten and loosen to my heart's content just by moving back and forth while holding that tab. But once I apply pressure with that flipped forward, it's not going anywhere. I'm pulling on that thing hard. Trust me, it's not moving. Very quick, simple, and light. Now in real world application, what happens is you take the loop that we saw at the end of the hammock, right? The continuous loop, it's gonna go around here like that. This little guy goes down underneath there, locked in, not going anywhere. Your hammock is secure. If you wanna adjust, again, like I showed you, just slide this baby back and forth, get your 30 degree angle, and you're ready to go. Next morning, you're ready to break camp. Let's say these are nice and soggy from a rain the night before. Just unclip this, pack your hammock up in the double-ended stuff sack, take the straps separately, roll them up, stuff them in an outside pocket on your pack, and hit the trail. Now, let's get back to that hole in there, which brings us to the spreader bars. You got your two spreader bars with the pins there. They hook together. But how are you gonna keep those two hammocks from banging into each other? So what you do, you got this hooked up already. Got your spreader bar, goes in the hole there. Everything is locked tight and you are properly spaced from each other, sleeping in comfort on just two trees and one tarp. I'm really looking forward to using this aspect of this system. And like I said, I will be doing a review with Sarah where we really see how this works, but I'm looking forward to this a lot. I think this is going to save us a lot of aggravation with finding the proper trees out in the woods and also save us a little bit of weight or maybe the need to buy another expensive Kuban tarp, which I don't really want to do. You can use my existing single tarp, depending on the trip. So there you have it, the Dutchware Chameleon System. Just wanted to show this to you guys real quick. Again, a full field test is coming once my wife and I get a chance to try it out. Really want to look at this hammock from the perspective of a couple's hammock. So we will get that. Stay tuned for that. And really, in the meantime, I just wanted to get this out to you guys because, look, Dutch sent me this to try it out as an evaluation. It's the first time he's ever done that. You've seen plenty of videos of his gear before. I love his stuff regardless. And I can tell you honestly, from looking at it, this is a 30 day Kickstarter. In the first few hours, it looks like this thing is smoking. So I don't think he's gonna have any problem selling this thing out regardless. So I'm just letting my viewers out there who maybe don't follow the hammock forum so much, but have asked me in the past about what systems are there out there? Options for couples that want to sleep in two hammocks. Here's your chance maybe to get something that works for you. Just a heads up so you can check it out. And for those of you who've already pulled the trigger and it looks like there's a lot of you, well, maybe you had a chance to just get an up close look at the system. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, I'm Syntax77 and you have fun out there.